Does everyone remember all of the work Ashton Kusher did about trafficking and saving the kids and saving the girls and you can't buy girls and all this other stuff, remember? Remember all the advocacy work that he's doing? Just gonna set myself up here to cover like the words that aren't allowed. And you know, we all know the work he did and on the side of the good and all of that stuff, right? Okay, cool. No ex trafficking, he used to say. All the praise he got because he was slowing down his career to help support the cause. Didn't anyone else besides me think it was a little bit weird? I always thought it was a little bit weird. Something just didn't feel right. We all heard of Holly Weird, and ever since that, I was like, why is Ashton such an advocate? I'm like, it just seemed very odd how he was all into it, like this good looking young actor. And usually the young ones aren't really interested in anything besides themselves and making more money. And I was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And then you hear words like handlers, industry plants. And I'm like, wow, wow, a plant. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Makes you think. So when he's in front of Congress and he's talking, the way he was talking, it just never sat right with me. And I'm like, is he doing it because he saw things and knows things and therefore wants to fight for it? Or is he doing it to infiltrate that organization and see what they know? You know what I mean? Then. When the 2019 interview with Ashton, where he's talking about how he can't talk about the Diddy parties, I'm like, wait, so you went to more than one party? Let me show you, and then you can, you can draw your own conclusions and tell me if you think I'm right or wrong. Looks pretty chummy to me. Hmm. Can you hug him any tighter than that? Both hands, one here and one here? Okay. I'm not even, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm not even going to say anything. Like, this is not, I've been to just one party. I, like, this is an acquaintance thing. Um, I can't tell that one either. I mean, I'm, like, actually cycling through them. Feel like well, I'm, we still have some. Okay. <laughs> Feel free. Diddy party stories. Man, that was, like, some weird memory lane. So. All righty, then. So you saw it and you heard it, right? From the images, we can only assume that these guys were friends. From what he said in the interview, we can only understand that he's been to more than one party. He said parties, not party. Very affectionate. There's a lot of hugging going on there. I mean, you got to be good friends to do that. Now, knowing this and remembering these things and now knowing what we know about Diddy and all of this other stuff that's coming out with the lawsuit, right? Who else thinks that he was a plant? Who else thinks that he wasn't really interested in saving anyone? And actually, maybe he was just there to find out things. How much do they know? I mean, it's not something unheard of. It's not something impossible. We all know what industry plants are and what planted people are. Years ago, when I was a journalist in Italy, I had to go undercover. The way I was planted into this situation that I, I had to um, discover certain things about, I went around it a real, I went around it a lot. Like by the time I was in where I needed to be, they could never have even possibly known that I was there to do what I was there to do. It was very easy to infiltrate and spy and find out what they knew to bring back to the authorities that I was working with. What if he was there just to find out what this organization and what these things actually know? You know, if he's this big advocate, why not tell him what's going on? Food for thought. Just saying. With all this new evidence coming out, these things just come to my mind naturally. Do you think he really cared or do you think he was uh, planted?